Hey developers, today I'm gonna to show you a really cool course. A lot of people are talking about Svelte JS, so I'm gonna show you everything that's offered in Svelte JS, the complete guide by Maximilian Schwarzmuller. We're gonna talk about it and what topics it's covered, so make sure you stay all the way to the end. There might be something if you do. Stay tuned. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also an author. And by the way, the course we're gonna talk about, the Svelte JS the Complete Guide, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. If you guys are interested in it, they have a sale. Udemy's having their sales. They have these sales all the time, but I think it's, uh, it's they usually have one or two months. I think it's a good time to buy this if you wanna buy it now. The sale ends really soon. It's actually in one day and you can buy it for $11.99. Otherwise, it goes back up to its normal price of $150. So make sure you always buy these courses when they're on sale. And if they do, if you do, in the description below, I have a link. If you click on it, I actually get a few bucks. You also help Maximilian, help support the channel. It'd be really cool if you pick this up. And I'll tell you why you should pick it up here in a second. So what is Svelte? And maybe you've heard of it before. That's why you clicked on this video. So. Svelte, tell, Svelte, basically, they call themselves a cybernetically enhanced web app. I don't really love that description, but essentially, it's not a framework. It says right here, it's not a traditional framework. It's basically like a compiler. It compiles your JavaScript. So you write, you write code in the Svelte syntax, and then the compiler compiles it just into JavaScript. So it kind of compiles away everything that Svelte has. So it's really neat. It makes really small bundle sizes and uh, it's really simple to use too. And a lot of people are looking at this, a lot of people are talking about this, and so it's something I wanted to learn. And what better way to learn than to buy a cheap Udemy course? So this is Maximilian's Svelte.js. And if you don't know who Maximilian is, you probably should. He has tons and tons of courses. I think he's like the number one creator on Udemy. He has like 160,000 students. And he has like the number one course for a lot of your favorite f JavaScript frameworks. And even beyond that, he has a really popular Vue course, a React course, an Angular course, Python. I mean, pretty much anything JavaScript related, he has a really cool course on it. Um, like I said, I'll list some of those courses down below in the description so you guys can check it out if you want to go and pick one up. So this one just came out. It's really, it's one of his more recent courses. I think it came out in the last month or two. And it, obviously it's been, as of the recording today, it was just recently upgraded or updated. And so it's $12 right now. It's 12 and a half hours of on-demand videos. It's 23 articles, 187 downloadable resources. So 12 and a half hours is a ton of hours for a course. Some of his other courses are around like 20 hours and knowing Maximilian, he'll probably be updating it throughout the next, uh, you know, within, you know, the years to come because he's really good about updating his courses. And so if you're interested in this, this is kind of what it covers, um, this, this course. So you'll learn all the Savelt syntax, how to use it, how to render conditionals, components. Um, if you've ever used Vue.js, you're going to feel right at home with Svelte. Um, from what I've learned so far, it's really similar in some ways. Obviously, Vue doesn't compile out. It doesn't, doesn't have that same kind of way that Svelte does it, but some of the syntax I feel is, is very similar. It says it's a popular alternative to React.js, Angular, and Vue. So there you go there. And of course, Maximilian is really good at all his courses. You don't need any like advanced JavaScript knowledge to take this course. You pretty much learn it from scratch um, without any no uh, zero knowledge assumed. It goes over a lot of the theories and practices. So the this meetup planner is how he does the whole course. So I think the first, I'll, I'll show you guys, the first three or, three or four sections, he, he does these little mini kind of mini apps and he shows different concepts and then he ties it all together in like a meetup.com clone sort of where you're just creating this meetup app you're using conditionals and components later on you're actually using routing and server-side rendering and you're putting it all together in this app which is which works great and it kind of covers all the different topics of Savelte and of course who's teaching you Maximilian you know if 
like I said, he's probably one of the the most popular instructors on Udemy right now, right next to Colt Steele and and a few others. And right now has uh, looks like hundred uh, a few featured reviews. So he has two hundred fifty four thousand reviews altogether. But in this course, it's four point eight out of five star ratings. You know, most of them are are seventy four percent is five star. A lot of people love it. You know, excellent presentation, clear and well explained. So, I mean, it's just getting a little, tons and tons of kudos from everybody that's taken it. So that's why I want to kind of uh, t talk to you guys about this course today and recommend you guys buy it, especially when it's on sale. Uh, make sure you pick that up as it's still on sale with the link below. And this is really cool. He does go over Sapper, which it, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more in a second, uh, which is like additional library on top of Svelte. Yeah, so a lot, a lot of people liking this course. So let's just jump in to take a look at the different sections. Uh, once again, I'll be really careful when I look at the sections here. I can't show you the videos. It's all copyrighted. So I will just show you like uh, what, I'll, I'll just kind of riff off the different sections and, and what I like about them. So uh, let me go to the course and I just bought it just recently. Okay, and just to give you, uh, just to let you know, I haven't watched all 12 and a half hours. I've kind of been skipping around, just watching different parts and sections, seeing how he, he's building the app. So I'm not going to say I've watched every part of it, but I have definitely gotten the gist of it and uh, been learning a lot too. So, I mean, as every course goes, he has this eight section introduction, like what is Svelte? Why should you care? He goes over like how to install Visual Studio Code. That's the uh, VS Code is the IDE he uses throughout it. He uses uh, Node.js. You'll need to have that installed. And I think that's it to get up and running. And he'll go over the course outline, which I'll go over you right now, and the resources. So then in section two, three, and four is like, let's jump into the basics of Svelte. So that's where he goes into like variables, reactivity, components, how to output HTML, um, and then he wraps it up, conditionals, if, else statements, things like that, a closer look at reactivity. So these are just real basics of how to start with Svelte. And then, and finally, when you get into section five is the first time you look at the course you're gonna create. And this is the meetup course, which maybe um, I'll click on one of these and without giving anything away, I can show you what it looks like. So like this is the basics of the startup of what it's gonna look like. You create this bar at the top. Um, he already has these different sections um, to create the, the meetup website. So this is, is sort of what it's gonna look like right here, uh, just right at the beginning. And then you kind of get a deeper dive into components after that. And then you go back into the course project and this is where you're going to look at custom events. Uh, funny, they have slots just like Vue.js. If you're into Vue, a lot of these topics are going to be really similar, um, how to create modals. So maybe we'll take a look here. Once again, I don't want to give too much away. But you can see here, this is sort of part of his course. Like, here's a modal. This is how you create it. You can see here he's already making cards in the backgrounds. These are like different meetup places. And this is all Svelte code, which is really cool. Uh, then he goes into board, uh, binding and forms um, and more bindings and forms. So he actually, he introduces binding and forms and then he has a section where he, he adds it to the meetup app that you're going through the course. I didn't even know this. Uh, it looks like there's definitely a store in inside Svelte. So he talks about how you use store. So uh, the, it's analogous to Vuex, maybe in Vue, if you're in the Vue world or if you're in the Angular world, NGRX or Redux. So this is a type of store pattern where you share data between all the components in your app. Then uh, the, actually Svelte offers transitions animations. So we kind of, he had some really cool animations. Let's see, like different animations to the, to the app. So you can kind of have different toggles and things happening at the same time, which is cool. And uh, then he adds network interaction via HTTP. So he, uh, so this app on the back end is using Firebase which I think is great because he's that's just a real simple way to connect to a 
a server without having to write a bunch of server code. And obviously, as he says, this isn't a backend course. This is all about Svelte. So he uses Firebase to get up and running really quickly. He uses Fetch to for your HTTP library, or you can use Axios as well, and uses async await. And then he connects it to the store, which makes sense. And then he adds it to the project. So like you add a spinner. Um, once again, I don't want to give too much away, but let's see here if we can see the spinner. Probably won't be able to see it. Yeah, so there's like a spinner here that he shows you how to create, which is really nice to know that you can do things like that. And then uh, pretty much that wraps up like the basics of Svelte. So then he goes into like how to create dynamic composes, components, recursive, like a little bit more advanced stuff that you don't normally don't see in a lot of courses. So it's nice. He has about 30 minutes of these things. And then what really I think stands out in this course, he actually goes into routing and server-side rendering. Uh, routing is an additional library to Svelte that you have to install to do it. Uh, obviously, if you want to use routing in your app, you'll, you'll need to watch this and understand it. Sapper, I believe, is more of the server-side rendering. So you can actually create static, kind of static pages with Svelte, or you can create server-side rendered pages too, which is great. And then he converts the this Meetup app that he's going through the whole app, and he converts it over to use Sapper. So you can see that conversion and how that works, which is, I think, really helpful and useful. And kind of this, this topic really sets it apart from other Svelte courses. And then deployment, uh, this is all, he shows you how to deploy the, the Sapper app, the Svelte app um, as static files using like AWS, uh, Amazon Web Services using S3 buckets, or he actually also shows it how to use it using um, Amazon's Beanstalk, which uh, is really cool. I, I like Amazon, it's cool. He was able to add that in there at the end. Um, but certainly you think you can take those same kind of concepts and apply it to anywhere that, that uh, that does that offers different deployment options that offer Node.js or static files. And then he has just a few course summaries and and a little bit of description of the differences between the three. So that's that's the course in a nutshell. I kind of jumped in through there. So hopefully hopefully you guys will understand that um, what what it's all about. So if you had made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for listening and and I really appreciate it. I do have one copy of this course to give out to free for you guys. So all you need to do is make sure you subscribe, um, like this video, and in the description below, uh, I just want to hear what do you think about Svelte, good, bad, indifferent. Just leave a comment. I'll pick a, a random winner and probably by the end of this week or next. Actually, let's make it next week. So uh, yeah, just let me know what you think about Svelte and I'll give you guys a free copy. And, and if not, make sure just pick it up. It's really cheap. It's $12. You can buy it for gift. Make sure you use the link in the description. I appreciate it. Thanks.